Hello everyone, welcome to All You Can Board. I'm Carlo and I'm here with Dylan and Brayden. And we have returned here to our uh, rating and roasting collection series. So uh, it's been quite a few months now. We're happy to be back, we're excited. Uh, you know, obviously previously we did this just Dylan and myself, but since Brayden has joined the channel, he is on board. Uh, we are trying out a little bit of a different format here where we're going to be having uh, one of us hosting while the other two do the majority of the roasting and we're gonna just have a rotating host uh, every time we do one of these. So uh, a little experimental, but we're very excited. Uh, Dylan, Braden, how are you guys feeling about this? Good. Yeah, I think, and we're also obviously you can tell we're all at our at our computers here in our respective homes recording this. This is uh, something else we're trying. So let us know what you guys think because this allows us to uh, just film more often uh, instead of having to you know to meet up. We can all kind of stay in our own places, maybe film a couple at the same time, uh, and some of the times we do it. So yeah, let us know in the comments what you think and if you like the format, and uh, hopefully we'll get a whole bunch more roasting going on. Yeah, I'm I'm excited to get my hands on a few collections to really dig in uh, to see what we have. Yeah, and uh, Braden, we're not going to grant you any grace time to kind of like warm up to this like Dylan and I had. You got to be coming <laughs> out with like just the harshest roasts right off the bat, right? Oh, don't you worry. <laughs> Excellent. All right, and uh, just for anyone watching at home, if you have questions about, you know, how can you submit your collection or if you have submitted one and you're wondering when it's your turn and all that, we're going to get to that at the end. Uh, you know, you've all been waiting patiently uh, for us to get back to this series. We've been having people ask about it. Uh, so we're just going to jump right in with the first collection here. We're going to be looking at five collections. Uh, and because it's been so long and because we prioritize people who have uh, supported us on Patreon, thank you very much to those Patreon supporters. Uh, we've got five Patreon collections today. So the first one up is Jenny. So Jenny is located in Minnesota and uh, she has submitted some updated photos recently of this uh, new game room they've set up uh, and uh, lots of games to look at. So here we've got just a sort of wide uh, shot of the entire game room. Very inviting, obviously. Uh, what do you guys think so far? Is notice the board game blanket over here on the couch? You got a meeple pillow. You got a monopoly rug. I like uh, I like the monopoly rug specifically because it, yes. it, it fits it that that's where you're wiping your feet because that's about how I feel about monopoly. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> Coming out strong. We haven't even seen the games yet. <laughs> like, wow! <laughs> I actually didn't notice that that was a board game blanket too. That's so nice. Yeah, yeah. I think you can see Pictionary in there. There's Catan here. Um, just battleship in the bottom right corner so you know so, some old games but that's cool i wonder if that was custom or if that's that very that's very but, very cool yeah. i like that a lot yeah but a real real inviting setup right before we get yes. to the uh for the roasting let's just complement the setup i think there's also a, a new table or an extended table which we're going to see here Ooh. Ooh. this is so this is oath sworn which you would have seen on the shelf to the right we're going to get close-ups yes. of the games right away but uh so yeah here is oath sworn being played um, a couple notes about Jenny actually as well before we get into uh, close-ups of games. She specifically said she does not subscribe to uh, top shelf billing. So Dylan, that's a, a shot yeah. for you right away. Yeah, already uh, losing five points there, but that's fine. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, we'll, we'll see how, how this one's rated in terms of points, but fair enough, you can dock as many as you like. Um, she says she prefers to store games vertically, but priority for her is filling up all the gaps and making the organization look proper. So sometimes there's going to be games stored horizontally. And she did mention uh, that a lot of the small games get used to fill gaps. So, uh, you know, really, really uh, redefining the use of the word filler game. Um, <laughs> I'm going to let that slide just for creativity's sake. But uh, yeah, other than that, let's get right into some close ups. So this was the shelf we saw on the right with the big box Kickstarter games. Wow! Look at uh, look at all that oath sworn. I, I was looking at the table setup, and I'm already so uh, jealous that because uh, our oath sworn copy doesn't have the the miniatures. It's all like standees, which is still okay. I, they still look nice. But already, I can see the miniatures on the table, and uh, I'm very jealous. So, I imagine that's what all the extra boxes are that we're looking at here, considering I have a single oath sworn box. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I'm just zoom in a bit. There's a lot of them here. Yeah, yeah, and they were they were stacked on the first photo we yeah. saw too, right? Like. Yeah, I think there's, that might have been more? an earlier photo. Uh, <laughs> I think yeah, that okay, one might have gotcha. been earlier, and then the other one was a slight good. update once Oath Horn was set up. But, uh, good, good, good. Yeah, we've got Still, though, yeah. Grail, Dylan's least favorite game of all time down it's, here. It's on the bottom of the shelf, though, so that's that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bottom shelf building. Bottom shelf building. Are you guys familiar with Monsters of Avalon or what looks I like think, Red Death? Yeah, yeah, those were just extra things that during the campaign oh, that you could kick, yeah, kickstart as well. I think it had to do with might have been standees that like you know were extra and just extra like upgrades to some of the original components okay yeah. fair enough. pathfinder i don't know if that's i mean pathfinder is obviously an rpg system but i don't know if this is like a board game i think i used to have that I, I used to have that 
base it's deck, the wrath so? of the righteous or whatever like pathfinder card game maybe um interesting yeah yeah it's, i used to i used to have that it, it was interesting but i just it, it got lost in the sea of other campaign games and everything <laughs> Fair enough, fair enough. We've got uh, noticed that along with all these like big box expensive Kickstarter games, we just have giant Scrabble crosswords. Yeah, it's, it's, copy, right? Is that Scrabble Legacy though, right? <laughs> uh, it's some anniversary, I can't really tell. What, yeah. Tenth, maybe? No. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna gloss over that though. And what is this? Something of Barnacle Bay Wander? <laughs> Both mine and Brayden's <laughs> heads tilt. At the same yeah, I know. Time. I'm like, what is that? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I have no all idea. Alright, we're gonna move on. To the next shelf. So this is another one of the uh, smaller ones on the sides. So this is a lot of them. Well, oh, obviously, so the like... small box games. We're going to get close-ups afterwards of what's in here and these bins. Uh, but uh, what do you guys think of what you see here so far? So like, this looks like a party shelf. This is like my kind of shelf. Yeah, um, I, you know, I was thinking the Braden shelf, yeah. Yeah, no thanks. Uh, I've considered getting 10 as well. I've heard, I've heard good things. Got we have a Sherry YCB copy. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Yep. I actually didn't know about that. <laughs> it's, it's hiding at Carlos's house. <laughs> yeah. Horse Dale, Stone Coat, uh, Cold Classic, obviously. Absolutely. Uh, I must have. I don't know what uh, P for Pizza is, though, on the right hand side. Well, it's the easy, I've... cheesy letter game. The <laughs> oh, easy, ah. cheesy letter game. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for oh, easy Big Potato easy. Games. I think they're known for making all their games very environmentally friendly, if I'm not mistaken. I think this is oh. all, they don't use any plastic. They're all like uh, cardboard and, uh, yeah, basically all. all environmentally friendly materials uh, nice. uh you guys heard of play nine here golf game? no oh no no i don't think so it's not one of the like those alternate names for um uh what's the oh the bullhead six, six nymphed yeah oh play no nine, I think. <laughs> play nine <laughs> Good question. Though. I think you might. I can't remember. We might it's see the that English version of it. I, I am. <laughs> I am happy <laughs> about uh, about longboard there, though. I can see that up there. Yeah, that's that's a great, uh, fairly new addition. You yeah. got to wonder if that was uh, purchased on account of Dylan's recommendation there. <laughs> oh, we got cockroach poker as well as yeah. what's beside it there too. Yeah, we'll get a close up of these in, in oh, the yeah, next yeah, photo. Yeah, so for now, let's stick to what we. Anything else you guys want to roast away at here? That's hmm. in plain sight. You guys haven't even commented on the organization. I was just, well, I was just about to say that that little, call, guys. that little like teal teal bin um, on the second bottom shelf there, or whatever, is a. Yeah. Uh, it's an interesting way of storing games. I can't say I, I'm a fan, but uh, <laughs> it's 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 one way to store them. <laughs> yeah. I I have to say, like, I was, like small box games are probably one of the hardest ones to kind of store because there's so many of them, but you don't want to just like dedicate only like a calyx to like a single roll row of them sometimes sometimes you want to have like multiple layers of them i'm yeah. definitely guilty of that uh currently so i feel that i understand why the that bin may be in place also medium on the right side too uh, i like that yeah i want to try this. i've seen the uh a while back they had their twitter account where they would run their daily sort of medium thing but uh it'd be cool to actually play the real version someday yeah i can i can appreciate like the I know Dylan is a big fan of like the aesthetics, like you know, box lines keeping relatively the same height. And I think I think they've done a pretty good job here of uh, kind of yes. maintaining that. You know what Jenny did mention? So first off, she hates gaps, like doesn't leave, like leaving yeah. gaps in the collection. And also, they're always, always, always sorted from tallest on the left to shortest on the right. Mm, all right. Even if it means, even if it means that a game that is part of the same series or an expansion or whatever is going to be on a different shelf or a different ooh, spot just because ooh. the organization takes priority over keeping the games together, which... That's a bold decision. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> yeah. that sounds like a Braden decision to me. Uh, you know, I was in that first uh, rate and roast and I organized them basically by color. So... Fair enough, yeah. <laughs> Aesthetics yeah. overall. Yeah. All right, fair enough. Well, let's nice. uh, jump on into a close-up Yeah, let's here, get in here. Uh, these ones, so... Uh, just I got to point this out right now because I mentioned about buying Longboard uh, potentially because of Dylan, but there is Enchanted Plumes, which Dylan, have you received any of those royalty checks yet? or Not yet. I was told that they're going to be coming when they hit the threshold of uh, $100,000, which is uh, okay. Sure. Not, not yet, but we're, we're close. close. You're in yeah. the year 20, uh, 2210. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh. I, I like the the stacking of them though into like I'm guessing these are like bins that are on their side. I was gonna say like it's a, it's a great yep. it's a great little system. I actually like that a lot. Feels very yep. cozy. I for that. 
for sure. Yep, they're they're tucked in nicely. The cards aren't going to spill out if you grab like one game out of there. So uh, you know, I commend commend Jenny for that at I, least. I feel like the mine should be next to the game since they're so similar. But true, minor oh, minor complaint, go. minor Absolutely. complaint. But you know, uh, sound a little more major. <laughs> Large but... complaint for me, but my, minor for everybody <laughs> else. How do you feel, Dylan, about Jaipur just crushing all the other games? You know, I you don't did? feel great, but it's it's I, I, more of what bothers me is just that it's not shutting completely perfectly like it, i think that yeah that, i mean to be fair that happens with my copy of dry pour as well but uh i yeah. think you just gotta open that box and then readjust the card so that we get a nice clean flush closing of the <laughs> I lid do, there. i yeah. do have an issue here though just above cockroach poker are the um, are those game sleeves? Like are those, yeah. are those card <laughs> sleeves? Yeah, I don't go any. Sleeves. I don't have any notes about that, so it looks like sleeves. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, it just uh, it seems like I understand gaps and everything, but this feels like it could be in a separate bin. Yeah. On its own, <laughs> I, think I think that that would be. Criticism. If I had to criticize something. Yeah. Yeah. It's yep. fair. That, that, it's, uh, that's it. All right, for let's now. Into, uh, the, the bottom of that shelf had some Ooh. wallet games. This is a big button shy collection. Okay, redeemed. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've only I've only tried I think Sprawlopolis and Agropolis so far. I can't remember. Have you guys tried any of the other uh, button shy games here? I've not. No, I've only I've only tried. Uh, I own Sprawlopolis. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Well, we can't see exactly what I think the yellow is Tussy Mussy or one of them at e least. I don't know what else is here, but uh, yeah. Maybe Food Chain Island might be in there. It's a green wallet. Oh, yeah. That's really all I know, and there's a lot yeah. of them. But I this mean, that's cool. Bigger, it looks nice. Yeah, this is one of the bigger button shy collections we've seen in yeah. our roasting collections. Though. Yeah, uh, roasting very, very satisfying. Although, again, could be organizing by aesthetics here. Could be going via the rainbow. That's at least, true, right? Yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah, just saying. The yellow's throwing, yeah, it, throwing it off there. Always, the always room for improvement. <laughs> Definitely, definitely. And as you can see here, there's a little bin that says Oink Games. So I think that is Oh, heck here. yeah. Yep, there we go. Ooh. Oink. Oh. Unfortunately, some of them are covered up, but uh, quite, the, quite the collection there. Wow. Yeah, lovely scout. Although I don't see a fake artist goes to New York because that's a pink box. No, that one is a pink. Yeah, you're right. What a miss. Uh, um, what a miss. And, and, <laughs> and, and all just, yeah. And in, those are like, those are yeah. the two I own, basically, along with Scout. And they're not there. Maybe they're on a different shelf so they can have top shelf billing even though she doesn't subscribe. No, no, no. Be, <laughs> no. Of, look at all this empty space. Yeah, they wouldn't be on another shelf. It's from someone who hates gaps, Dylan. That's don't don't Sorry. forget that. Yeah, I'm interested right. to see how many like will actually fit into there. Yeah. Like any more. I mean, like yeah. there's there's a limited time on that. <laughs> limited that space. real estate. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we'll revisit this uh, one day down the road. Yeah. Oh my you know what I just noticed? Mm. These sheets here, these look like giant laminated sheets for Quix, the roll and write game. Ooh. Oh. But these are like jumbo size. Yeah. Like those are normally supposed to be a, like not too much bigger than these 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 oink boxes. So interesting. interesting. All right, we're gonna jump over now to the main wall here. Oh yeah. Wow. Here we go. So this is this is the obviously the bulk of the games here. Yep. Um I don't even know where to start, guys. I mean, uh, what is that? Uh, let's start with that sign in the middle because I'm very curious what that yellow. Oh, it's is. coming soon. Pursuit of Happiness Big Box, hopefully April. Wow. <laughs> uh, yeah. Is that for I our know. benefit or is this for all her guests that come over to the house? I have, well, I'm wondering the same thing. I love it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that sign she, just for us. She was having so many friends over there asking, "What is this gap for?" That she's like, "I don't want to explain it anymore. So just read the read the note yeah. that I'm leaving." Yeah. I mean, I it's think like, I don't want to start... reorganize everything later, so I'm saving this spot now. <laughs> yeah, I th I think we got to start with the the books on top. Honestly, yeah, like, I don't like I don't know what are they the... games? Oh, the three little they... pigs, Baba Yaga. Okay, oh, okay, gotcha. This is awesome. Okay, this is, these are like special like... edition. Yep. Very nice. Wow. I didn't, I didn't think the three little pigs was that long. I think those are games because it looks like it looks like there's a player count thing at the bottom and everything, right? Like you might be right, actually. Oh, I just I just right. don't know what series those are a part of. I've never seen. Neither do I. And I can see the back of the the first box, and it looks like it's showing like a game. So I don't know. Oh what yeah, like is. there's cards yeah. and stuff too. That's yeah, a great yeah, point. Yeah. I have huh. no idea what these are. This is Aladdin over here. Uh, That's wild. I've never heard of that. Well in, but yeah. yeah, guys, key red key red flower, red, another key flower. It's right there. Oh, key flower, yes. Nice. <laughs> Every time I That's see key flower one. on a shelf, I'm so happy. Yeah, yeah, very nice to see that. Uh, we got some big boxes here with a, a chest on top here, sort of a briefcase type thing. 
that is not the first time that we've seen Star Trek Ascendancy. And I, for some reason, I'd never, I'd never heard of that game. It seems like a random inclusion. And the fact that we have multiple collections that we've covered that have it, like, what is this game and how come we've it, never, it oh, I've never lie. heard of it. Yeah, I don't know. Gale Force 9 did the original Dune game from like 1979, though, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe it's the update that they did. So maybe that uh, is why people have kind of flocked to it. Yeah, and yeah. also, like, I'm not really into Star Trek. I don't think you guys are either, right? Mm. Not yeah. particularly. Fair enough. Let's don't not get in the comments. Too hard on that. But, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. These people are going to roast us if we uh, respect get into it. That. Respect it. Yeah. I see what she means about being anti gap. Because there's yeah, like there's like gap. barely any gaps on this shelf. This is why res- that's respect too. Yeah. Because like you got to consider the width of certain games too, and that is tough. You have to start buying games you don't even want to play or like yeah. just because you measured them at the store and they fit a gap perfectly, right? Like that's the, or that's you, the level you of start commitment. you start shoving papers in between to really <laughs> just like fatten it out so yeah. it looks good. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, uh, I want to ask you guys about a couple here. Have you, Divinity yeah, yeah. Derby and Unspeakable Words. These look completely new. To, have you guys heard of these? No, nope. neither. Okay. Well, Dylan's a big fan of Radlands, I know, right? Squeezed in right yep. there, yeah. And you're a big fan of Copenhagen, one of your favorite games. Ooh, get out of here. You're gonna do, <laughs> yeah. Look, you say, and, and what's my other favorite one here? That oh, you there it is. Magic, oh, Maze. Maze. Magic Maze. Yeah, Carlo's favorite game. <laughs> favorite Dead game. Horror. He'll probably never want to play ever again. Uh, and what then... Is- what is that abstract in the, like, beside uh, Roll for the Galaxy? That's a, like a Yinch cousin here? in the same kind of line, right? Link here? Yeah. Yes. Yes, that's part of the GIF series. Thank you, yes. So, Carlo, is there is there a race for the galaxy, or is it just a Roll for the Galaxy? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I've only seen a Roll, but this is your guys' video to roast. I'm just hosting. So I'm not gonna oh, boy. I'll comment yeah. on that too much. No, I'll, I'll yeah. comment on it. I'm really glad that she uh, has the superior version of the series, Roll for the Galaxy, instead of Race for the Galaxy. <laughs> oh. That's like, well, I, I cannot get behind that. Billing, and there's going to be some additional shots fired at you later, Dylan. So uh, you're probably oh, yeah. crazy I, dish out right now. <laughs> I think that's blasphemy even for me. <laughs> I've never even played Roll for the Galaxy. <laughs> <I> just... <laughs> okay, I mean, Mar- Marvel Champions at the bottom, uh, middle, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Unacceptable. Just kind of squeezed standards. in there, yeah. I know we're not top shelf billers, but... Oh, but, but Next it is to Thanos, Thanos Rising. Thanos Rising. Yeah, that works. I can, I, I can appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. And then a couple of small box card uh, games jammed in next to them. I just like that. I I also like uh, Master Word is like right in, almost right next to Power Grid as well. Like two <laughs> oh, yeah. very different games. <laughs> very different. <laughs> yes. Yeah. This is again all about fitting the games in there. Yeah. Honestly, else. I'm just very impressed overall by the in terms of organization having it that flush in almost every cube. That's uh, yeah. That's great. Definitely. And we've got Arayal, a Portuguese game here. We've got Barcelona, which I thought, I didn't even think this was out yet. I thought this was just recently announced. We always see collections where people have games that we thought are not even in retail. I don't know how this happens. This is what it's like to live in Canada, who somehow gets most things later than the States. Yeah, that's fair. (laughs) And uh, I mean, the Star Wars stuff is all together there too. Imperial Mm. Assault uh, and then Rebellion. But also Battle Line has something stacked on top of it. Yeah, that's Café. Which we have spoken oh, quite highly of on the it. channel. Okay, there it is. Excellent little uh, game. Yep. Also Portuguese. Oh, I see Ethnos there too. Another great one. Yeah, honestly, a great, great variety of games. Great, some of my favorites in here, um, and and the organization. I just think it, it's uh, this is a really, really nice looking main shelf. I like it a is lot. There's something. Yeah, a lot of these double small box stacked, filling yeah. in those gaps. Carcass All the gaps. Endless. El Grande big box. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Boa. A lot of variety, eh? Big, big Captain box Sonar, games. Captain Sonar in the far corner. Yes. <laughs> Let's go! Huge. Raiden's been <laughs> One day we'll play having it. a copy and never, never introducing <laughs> us to it for how long now? <laughs> I played it once in the. And it was. Gl- I'm not even. And it was. Gl- and it was glorious. Yeah. <laughs> it was amazing. And I will draw attention to Santorini, a, a favorite among the three of us. That's yep. probably one of the games that we, the three of us, agree on most. Anything else you guys want to highlight here before we move on to the uh, next photo? No, let's go to the next one. 
Yeah, I okay. think, I think, yeah, this is, I mean, yeah, gap management. Right. Yeah. Before management. we go to the next one, because I can't remember, I think it's going to be in the next one. I'm just going to read something off here from my notes yep. uh, from before. So previously, when Jenny had submitted her collection back in April of last year, she had uh, a tub of old games, like a big, big container that had some old, like, Risk and Clue and that kind of stuff. And she had said at the time, uh, and I quote, I pulled Agricola out of the tub and put it on a shelf just for you. I will keep it there. <laughs> and so when I initially saw that, I was like, oh, how nice of you to pull Agricola out of the tub uh, and put it on a proper shelf. That, that's real nice. And then when she sent in her uh, updated photos recently, she mentioned that she had a feast for Odin. This is where the shots come in, Dylan. Had a feast for Odin, liked it, sold it. Yes, I have Agricola. I never played it and will probably sell. Sorry. <laughs> How, I mean, after telling me that you pulled it out of the tub, you're going to put it on your shelf and it's going to stay there, and then less than a year later, you still haven't played it and you're probably going to sell it. I mean, she did, uh, she, you said she did say that uh, she liked A Feast for Odin, so even though she sold it, at least she liked that one, which it doesn't sound like she ever even considered her. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, listen, look how many games she has here, and she sold a feast for the fish. He's gone, okay? There's plenty yeah, of room to uh, keep it around. There are other games she could have moved on from, so. Yeah. No room. No room for it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, my God, another full shelf. Amazing. This is the other shelf, and there's Agricola still uh, yeah. kicking around, tucked away down there. Yeah. But uh, as they say on Ted Lasso, it's, it's the hope that kills you, you know? I just, I <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, yeah, what do you guys think? The Arnak here with expansions, the Vic the... Uh, of yeah. the North Sea, of the whatever trilogy games. She has the whole, um, I can't remember the company now, but like with Onirim there, like the, all, pretty much every yep. game in their line like there. Oni, Oniverse or whatever. That's it, I yeah. Yeah. I also noticed Firefly. Gloomhaven tucked into the very bottom there, just squeezed yeah. into the shelf. With Founders, though. I'm glad with those founders. are next to, next to each other. <laughs> next to Cash and Guns. Yeah. How appropriate. <laughs> appropriate. <laughs> Both thematic games. <laughs> uh, Lots of IP games, though. We had Star Wars, we had Star yeah. Trek, we have Firefly here. Uh, I feel like I'm forgetting something else. Yeah, we that saw is true. Too. There's a noticeable gap uh, on the, uh, um, I guess, second row to the right of that. Or right, that gap, yeah, too. Yeah. I was just going to say that big gap above, like, just to the right of where you're, yeah, right there. Yeah. That needs, yeah, that needs yeah. to be filled in. That's really noticeable in this yeah. gapless world. Yeah, it probably could have fit a Feast for Odin, but uh, wasn't good enough to stick around. <laughs> For whatever reason <laughs> honestly feast for own could have probably gotten the shelf above like horizontal yeah, no kidding actually i have to highlight them. something real quick because she mentioned her email this pirate or this viking ship here is a game called i believe it's called dandos or something like that and uh, or daldos and it's a game that she has played uh in a couple different places in europe and it has uh engraved dice that have like roman numerals engraved in them and stuff wow. so yeah i wanted to give a shout out to that that's sweet that's cool uh, the, the 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 decor game is on another level. I will yeah. say that too. Yeah. yeah. Well, well done. Pac Man there. board on the wall back here, which is pretty cool. I feel like she, she does subscribe to top top shelf billing. It's just that her top shelf billing is her decor. Her she she values <laughs> decor above above games. Uh, that's True. in yeah. this case it works. It it makes them all look beautiful. It's great. That's fair. Yeah. She can only deny it for so long, right? Yeah. True. 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 I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I mean, there's lots of great ones. Mm. Like there's Caesar, yeah. there's Caesar, there's Seven Wonders Duel, there's Great Plains, Mandala, Lost Cities, like Lost Cities, yeah, wild. I feel yeah. like yeah, lots of. It's lots hard of for me to even find a game that she doesn't have that you know that we count as like would be a big miss. It seems like I'm noticing everything. This this is this is the thing I will say about like uh, organizing by aesthetics is that eventually you get a feel for where your games are. Like no one else will know where they are. You can't go, <laughs> yeah. where's your two player shelf and Fox in the forest duets on the other side of the shelf. <laughs> Meanwhile, you've got uh caper Europe on this side, right? Yeah. Like, and like True. you just get, you just know, like you just, you you vibe with your games. Yeah. Uh, that at least that's where I got with my games at least. Yeah. You're um, right. yep. Probably reorganize them at some point And then, you just can't. You just can't yeah, be you like. Be roast, you can't just. You just can't have someone over and be like, "Hey, can you go grab so and so off the shelf?" Because they'll be like, "Where? Yeah. Where? <laughs> it, well, I'm lost." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Help me. Um. Yeah. Wingspan in there, of course. Classic. Yep. Yeah. Terraforming yep. Mars. I didn't. I don't see. I don't see Race for the Galaxy. Nope. Yeah. That would be. That's fine. There's the Res Arcana's here. So yeah. there's Res some Arcana. excellent I mean, Tom Lehman representation. Tom Lehman. Yeah. 
I also want to give a shout out to two things here real quick. Nightmare Productions, which is a very hard to find oh, uh, old yes. sort of Reiner Knizia game. Wow. Yes. I think it's been rethemed. Um, and yes. then here's Quix Deluxe. So those sheets I was talking about earlier, that's for this box. Bingo. Nice. I didn't even know there was a deluxe version of this, but. Nice. Yeah, All right. Very nice. I think we're going to move right along here because uh, this is this has been quite the collection, but yeah. uh, we've got other collections for us as well. But I believe there's one bonus photo here. Which is the Meeple bathroom? Oh, oh wow. my! Full God. commitment. Shower curtain. Seriously, the mat. That's also great. The, that towel. Use the force. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even notice that at first. That's the best. That's the best uh, part of this. Yeah. yeah, that's great. Best seat in the house. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry for the things I said. Playing board said, games. That's good. Love yeah. it. Really good. Uh, yeah, next level uh, aesthetics. Yeah. Props. Yeah. Major excellent, props. Excellent. Stuff. Very cool. Great uh, collection. Thank you, Jenny. And uh, so, real quick, uh, we're gonna give a. We're gonna let you guys rate each of these on a different oh. scale for each of these collections. So, for Jenny's collection, I want you to rate this on a scale of, um, I love this room, but the Monopoly rug ruins it for me. To <laughs> I just love this room. <laughs> uh I I'm I'm on the I just love this room be, because of the Monopoly rug. No, well, it's not not nope. because of only because of the Monopoly rug. <laughs> nope. Said it first, Dylan. What about you? <laughs> I I yeah, I would say I love this room because the Monopoly rug. Like I said, it's where I can uh, wipe off my feet, so it works perfect. I think everything works. It's it's exactly where it belongs. And I didn't I didn't see Monopoly on the shelf. Maybe it was there, but we're not going to go back and look. So I'm even happier. Nope, you sure aren't. That's right. <laughs> yeah, and uh, it Thank looks you so like much. I can absorb my tears of my childhood. So. <laughs> there you go. There you love go. It. Yeah. Thank you, Jenny, for sending that in. Excellent, excellent collection. And thank you very much for all your support on Patreon. Thanks, we are going to move along to the second collection here. So this was sent in by uh, Tandri and Christine. Uh, they are a couple living in Iceland. And uh, so a little bit about them here. They've been collecting since 2017. They have, I believe, 280 games as of the wow. time they sent this in. They said they don't really call games. Like, they don't get rid of games at all in the hopes that maybe someday they'll play them. Maybe someday they'll show them to their kids and whatnot. Um, yeah, and there is horizontal and vertical stacking, but they say they will not back down from that because uh, it is more efficient for storage. Yeah, that's fair. With 280 games, you have to be efficient. But let me yes. tell you, and we're, we're not going to... The Ivar shelves. They might not back down from it, but we're also not going to back down from roasting them for it. So. <laughs> Ooh, I see. <laughs> Boy. Start here. All right, so what do you guys see? First impressions here. Uh, uh, chaos. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's coming. Weird. Coming it, from our last uh, collection yeah. to this now, my yeah. eyes are going like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because some of it, like sections of it, aesthetically look organized, even though when there is like some vertical and some horizontal, and other parts of it uh, hurt my soul. It's like a mix, it's a nice mixture. It's uh, like yeah. what, so. What is what is on top of strate Stratego and next to Sheriff of Nottingham? Like, what's that like? Oh, that bot, that yeah, what bin, is that? or yeah, oh, I have no idea. Okay, that's just a little wicker basket. Looks like it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a problem. Is, it's a problem, is what it is. <laughs> 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 just kidding. It's a question. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Better question is, what's this thing? My starry Volundarhusens. See that? I'm just curious about that because that name sounds yeah. amazing. Yeah. Ravensburger's biggest hit, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. yeah, who knew? Who would have known? Someone didn't watch Dylan's uh, Tuscany or Burgundy video. Well, they have both. That's fine. I, I mean, <laughs> is if if they ever are going to call and they choose to call Burgundy first, there's going to be a problem. But uh, for I'll, now, I'm going to say right now, <laughs> I only own Tuscany. I didn't even know you own Tuscany. I don't think I knew that. Yep. Wow, um, that's a disappointing and it's, fact yeah, I just well. learned. <laughs> <laughs> Not that you own Tuscan. Tuscan's a great game, but, but that you guys can roast each other yeah. after this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like five, five tribes and Fury of Dracula. I'm not sure. Like you have five hidden. tribes. I, I know I have five tribes. I just don't know how they relate to. Oh, one next I mean, to each other. This, like <laughs> I think purely. This is organized by space. Like this, no, guys, like just realize it's alphabetical. B, C, D, E, F. Oh, oh my God.
I'm an idiot. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, and I was just about to give them, because like right next to Dungeons, Dice, and Danger, I was like, but it it dips down in height just for a second. All you'd have to do is switch those two boxes on the second shelf and you'd be fine. But uh, but now that makes sense. It's uh, alphabetical. And they're not fully alphabetical. I mean, we've got Everdell and then Evil High Priestess here, and then you've got Ecos. Yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah, okay. You're right. Fully, but kind of grouped by letter. (laughs) (laughs) Burn the whole thing to the ground. Uh, I like the yeah, we got Munchkin. I like the villainous little stack there. I mean, it's too bad the, yeah. the main villainous box doesn't fit with it, but yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a problem. <laughs> and Winter the, Kingdom? Yeah. The, nice. The fact that Wayfarers, though, is next to Winter Ki- Kingdom and not with Paladins and Viscounts and stuff is also nagging me. Mm-hmm. But uh, what? what is the red box on above this? Clank? Yeah. Dungeon uh, or Dragon, the Red, red Dragon, Dragon Inn? Yeah. Oh, character okay. trove five. It looks like every time I go to our local game store okay. here, they have like an entire section dedicated to Red Dragon Inn, and I honestly have no idea how it plays. I've never looked. So into I'm it. I'm curious, like the next photos, like does it continue alphabetically this way or? So let's check it out. Boom. Oh, and we start back at. Uh, well, this was B up here, so like. Is that all A, a top no, left? Okay. Diff- oh, you know what? Oh, it's it continues left to right. To next yeah. Photo. yeah, yeah. We have left the photos right. segmented in a way where it's not going to make sense. But uh, yeah, maybe we'll Photoshop them all together and we'll see it in one glorious <laughs> yeah. line. Yeah, yeah exactly. one glorious line. So um, two of the four Azuls. I think Dylan, hmm. these are your two favorites, not my two favorites. Correct. Right. I think. I think so. Right. Yeah. Where do these rank for you? I didn't know. Uh, for me, I would say I would say they're probably my two. I would say they're probably also my two favorites. Mm-hmm. Actually, they're on- the only two that I have played, actually. So, so your two favorites. Oh, well, that's, that's great. great. <laughs> 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 what an easy answer that was. Uh, um, uh, I think we should just get this over with and just scroll down to the bottom and let's all die a little bit looking at uh, <laughs> the, oh, no! the bin oh! of games. <laughs> zoom in on that. Let's, let's zoom yeah. in on this and really. It, yeah, that's She goes even upside great. down. <laughs> oh boy! Under I, the, I, just, I don't want to know which games are being crushed. Just under take there. a pause, and I'm going to put some graphics where it's just fire burning <laughs> over these games. Uh, what is what, like? What is it? Innovation. I was just about to. That's Innovation. exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> oh, Andrew and Christine, what is happening? No, here? guys. I'm just going to go ahead and hope that they're at least playing it on BGA. And that's why it's being crushed here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's, that's a shame. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That's a shame. <laughs> I don't think there was a mention either of what the yellow sticky notes are. Maybe this is games that either they have or have not played. I'm oh, that's just a guess, mm. but or like is that the only one that had a sticky note on? I think I didn't notice it on the others. Uh, there's one on Art Deco has it as well. Oh, all the Mountain King. Interesting. Oh yeah, in all the Mountain King. Yes. Oh, what does what does that mean? Yeah, maybe I'm, it's I'm, maybe it's shelf of shame. Maybe it's unplayed, uh, unplayed games. games. That's that'll be yeah. That'll be my guess. I yeah, because we had last time we had something like this too, and we were trying to guess what it was, but it wasn't sticking out. It was something else. They yeah, had little tabs or something. Yeah, like yeah. That. yeah. Hmm. Also, Seven Wonders Duel. That should be first. Yeah, yeah <laughs> that's true. The alphabet, yeah, right. Yeah. And also, Hive is completely upside down. Like, come on. <laughs> oh, I, very, very, very yeah, hive. Yeah, uh, I think you mean e- <laughs> I'm gonna step in here and defend them because they do have 20th edition, mm. uh, 20th anniversary Carcassonne. So that's true. Lay, lay off a bit here, right? <laughs> and they had the yeah, but it's at the bottom below. A bomb. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah but a boom, whatever the heck that is. Is that a game? Hey guys, what is this? Okay, first one of you to pronounce this correctly wins the collection roast. Drama Asian. <laughs> We both went at the same time. Okay. Oh, what's, what's the subtitle as well? I can't read that. Oh my god, yeah. Okay, wait, let me try it. Drame oh. Drame Jean Jalfar Shalan <laughs> That's my that's my try. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> okay, Dylan yeah. wins then. That's that's thank fair. You, that was, thank you. Commend you for Default. your bravery and even attempting that. I'm just surprised Dylan hasn't pointed out all the root as well. I mean, because yeah. I, I guess because I, I thought the well, I was about to say the route was well organized, but for some reason it's expansion, expansion, base game expansion, uh, so it isn't well organized. But uh, but it is nicely in one stack, and there's no route anywhere yep. else, so that works. Um, True. Uh, it's acceptable. True. Yeah. True. What's what's at All the right. very top of the shelf? Quickly, if there's because I saw a bunch of books, I'm wondering if there are a bunch of D and D. 
hard to say. Oh, monster. I was gonna say I see monster manual. This looks like third edition D and D, maybe. Mm. Yeah. Nice. Oh, third edition D and D books. (laughs) (laughs) The spines of them. (laughs) Uh, Yeah. All right. What's all right? What's the other side? Check out the next photo here. What do we have? Yeah. Uh, Next up, we yeah. Let's see. Continued on the seas. Yeah, there's some look at all that. Look at all that clank. Yeah, yeah lots of clank <laughs> and more of these yellow sticky notes. Yeah, it's oh, a yeah. sentence I didn't oh, okay. If this it. is unplayed, I'll just warn you, Tandrin Christine, you heard us in our last video, Charterstone. It might be disappointing. Oh, yeah, yeah. I haven't yeah. played it yet. So. It's true. Charterstone, Forbidden Island and Forbidden Desert. Yep. Champions, of, Champions of Midgard. Big fan. Um, Crazy Carts. Okay. Heck. Is that Doctor Strange? That is Doctor Strange. Little little figure there. I like it. Oh yeah. I also have one of cool. those uh, little mushroom. If that's the same thing I'm thinking of, that had, yeah. that had candy in it. You can used to be able to buy them from like Seven Eleven or whatever. And I I kept mine. Mine's blue, not green. Oh, okay, I was gonna say by little mushroom. Do you mean a one up? Mister, yes, have you ever yes, yes, video yeah. games? Yes, yes. <laughs> At first I was like, why is El Dorado next to Quacks? But I was like, ah, it's the quest for El Dorado, yes, of course. Yes. Ah, yes, fair enough, fair enough. And, I mean, at least they have a system, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I respect the system. If you if you told someone to go and get tapestry from the shelf, they would be able to know where to go. You're right. Yes. Yeah, efficient. Definitely. I'm going to point out real quick, Parks is upside down, but we have Tyrion Lannister here. Yeah. The nice Tyrion bust. Scrap? scrap? The Sorry? <laughs> you mean scrap? Scrap? Oh. <laughs> yeah, Parks upside down. Of course. Scrap. Oh, <laughs> of course. Scrap. Scrap. I liked it better with the Hive, though. E- what did you do? It? How did you do that one? I'm not, e- I'm not repeating Evia. that. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> uh, uh, most of the phone here is Smelly Welly. I was just going to say, why is that? Why does that get all its, alone. it gets its They're own full spot escape, laying down <laughs> next to a bunch of screwdriver heads just <laughs> right next to it. <laughs> no one wants to get close to that game. It's it's got the it has the smelly wellies. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And Zombicide I mean, and... There's a great number of like great selections like on the shelf. It's just and and honestly the organization in many places is good i like that there's a mixture of like decor and games and stuff like that yeah but uh yeah there are also some misses just by having some games upside down and things like that but you know we can we can let it slide no race or roll for the galaxy or magic maze correct (laughs) carlos three favorite games yeah (laughs) you can't even uh, i'm not even (laughs) such such varying levels of love for those games uh boring potentially not quite on hate but yeah uh, disdain doesn't get get any higher Um, so i'm gonna ask you to rate this one before we move on to a final little uh bonus photo uh rate this on on a scale of 1 to 10, we're going to keep this one real basic, with 1 being, I want to play games with you guys based on your collection, but Ooh. Iceland is too far. But uh, to a 10 being, screw it, I'm coming to Iceland. Oof. I mean, I'd like to come to Iceland. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to give it a 10 just because the more excuses I have to go to Iceland, the more I'll put it on my travel list. <laughs> I'm going to give, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a 9 because I'm not a suck-up. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm going to stick with my 10 because I am, so whatever. <laughs> yeah, I was going to give either of you guys a hard time for going under 10 because who doesn't want to go to Iceland, yeah. right? Plus, the Classic yeah. Games is awesome, and uh, they seem like wonderful people. And they threw in these bonus photos, uh, and they quoted as, um, to prove that we are not robots. So here are Christine Aww. and Tandri. Nice. And here they are with Aww. their baby. So That's awesome. Very sweet. Thank you so much yeah. for sending these in. Yes. We really appreciate it, as well as the Patreon support, of course. Excellent collection. We are going to move along to third collection. This is a big one. Oh, so, guys, boy. I was just going to say right now, this is... Uh... You know what? Let's just jump in. But I'll yep. just say right now, there, there's a lot to look at here. Um... Okay, we'll do mi- We'll do micro... Wow, okay. Oh, we'll do... Oh, yeah, so this is, whoa. So this is Oof. Rice Moody, known as Moodman in our uh, Discord. <laughs> Uh, and for anyone who wants to look this up, I'll just say in advance, he provided his Board Game Geek username, which is Nightstick, N-I-T-E, stick, all one word. Okay. So you can go check there for the full list of games. He also wanted to apologize in advance because his attic was recently resprayed with insulation. Uh, so that's why there's some a bit of a mess and why there's extra games oh, okay. in places. 
He also oh. apologized for his cable <laughs> management because there's cables in plain sight. Um, I mean, there's there's a lot more to talk about, but let's let's just try and focus on some of these games. And I mean, it's hard to even pick out specific games, right? Like, yeah, I'm overwhelmed I mean, already. Yeah, I don't even know if I'm gonna. I, I'll 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 point out a couple games, but I think for the most part, this is just like. I mean, this is stacked to the ceiling. So the first thing I'm going to ask is, let's find out what the top shelf villain is. What's his favorite game? Uh, go right to the very top. And what is that one with the yep. white box? Right, the, yeah, right there. What is that? Salty Ocean. Oh, Salty, Salty Ocean. Ocean. Oh, favorite <laughs> favorite <laughs> game in shrink wrap on top shelf villain. <laughs> I will say Race of the Galaxy is right yes. there. So that's already huge points for me. And you got Burgundy for you, Dylan. Yeah, so. and above Burgundy. But he likes Salty Ocean. I mean, when you both. have this many games, you're gonna have all of our favorite games here <laughs> and all of our least favorite games. This is this yeah, is borderline and... ceiling billing. Like this is wild. Yeah. <laughs> It really is. Top skyscraper really is. building. <laughs> and I'm just going to say in advance as we look through this collection, just notice, guys, how many of these are in shrink wrap. We've got Scythe in shrink. We've wow. got Mansions of Madness in shrink. We've got multiple games here in shrink. You're going to notice along the way. I'm not going to point out too many more, but uh, just keep an eye out for that. those as we go. Yeah, this yeah we is... talk about gaps. I mean... There's, I mean, there's barely yeah. any. Like, this is, this is completely stuffed. <laughs> this is a stuffy what collection. Is... Very old version of Lost Cities here. Oh I yeah. Like oh yeah. Yeah. Cool. I think I've got that version as well. Look at the vertical stack. Really, really amazing as well. How nice. It, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it doesn't come with the six, whatever six color, whatever it is. Oh right, yeah. Right. 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 Look at that I mean, vertical you know. stack of stuff between the shelves on the right, like just a bunch of black boxes. Oh, just the black like, boxes there. Yeah, like to the right, like that, yeah. just like yeah, big yeah, stack yeah. of stuff right. vertically. Like my god. It will say loot crate. I don't know what that's for exactly, but uh, oh the. Yeah, they're like uh, crates you can get random things in that are usually themed around something. Oh, like okay. Kind of like the board game bento Captain box Marathon. or whatever. Yeah. yeah, this is wild. I'm not even going to call it any other individual games. This is just this is just so much stuffed as much as it can. I mean, it's great. On one hand, it's great because you have tons of board games, and I respect that. On the other hand, this is just hard to, to look at <laughs> in, a, in a good way. <laughs> oh, you yeah overwhelming like it's a good it's a good problem to have to be overwhelmed by having so many board games but yeah what's at the bottom here i was gonna say how many of these on this bottom shelf do you guys recognize i was going to say exactly none of them yeah zero <laughs> i'm gonna go with zero <laughs> i don't recognize any uh yeah, i think i've heard of the king arthur game but I, I can't even be sure it's just the box looks a little familiar but yeah i got nothing there Wow. Okay. Do we even know there was a board game for this? I did Or Bookcade game, is that? <laughs> Interesting. This is wild. I don't even well. know if I recognize the ones above it. And so you're, <laughs> you you mean to tell me that this, this isn't the entire collection? Oh, buckle up, guys. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh. I'm telling you, we've seen some collections, but this is... Uh, take, take us on a journey. You know, I don't even know if collection is the right word, but we're just, <laughs> just going to go right on to the next photo here. We uh, need to have like a check. This is part like... of the same... Yeah, this is part of the same shelf. I guess we're just seeing a little more on the, on the left. Look at all like those Avengers small box people. games, though. Like, even those are just completely stacked. Ooh, That's Avalon, wild. One Night... Ooh, One Night Revolution. Kickstarter, that yep. one as well. That one's uh, uh, not... Uh, not that out in the open, that's for sure. Don't I see, see that. Often. I see the. I see Radlands there. I'm happy about that. Yep. Yeah. In shrink, are you still happy? Nope. <laughs> 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 every time I t uh, you're every time I point out a game I, I like, you're gonna point out to me that it's in shrink, and it's gonna just make my Ooh. heart sink. <laughs> that legendary collection at the top of the shelf. <laughs> oh yes, is that a... I've only played the Alien one, which Alien Encounters, which is very good. Yeah, but uh... is that a box of Rice Krispies? <laughs> 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 it's because that's sure what it looks like. <laughs> also, it's just hanging off the edge a little. <laughs> The, the little known expansion to legendary rice krispies uh. yes <laughs> and pop i will point out though biblios this looks like biblios dice perhaps or one of their quill and part remember and then also the king and me which is the new one yeah uh, so that that's are nice. they this all in shrink too well, a couple of them yes, are. absolutely <laughs> jaipur is in shrink down here guys all right oh there's God. all kinds of stuff <laughs> There's all still right, so I'm much move to on because there's, yeah, yeah, there's so yeah, much we, left. Let's just move right along here. And, oh my uh, god! Would, oh wow! Look. Okay, yeah, we got the part. crew. We got the crew. We've got what the architects? Is that what? Yeah, yeah it's the, the entire series. Basically. It looks like the entire series is in shrink. 
Yeah. <laughs> they're waiting for Wayfarers and yeah. whichever other ones to arrive, and then they're going to open them all and play them all in one day. Yeah. Oh, also, a note about the Everbind binder. He specifically noted, uh, he apologized for it and said it's a recipe book. And he says, I like to cook occasionally. Sorry. You don't have to apologize for that. Rice crispy squares. <laughs> right, of course. <laughs> That's literally what it is for. Let's let's all let's or at least at least me and Braden, let's take a, a percentage guess here on how much of the full uh, collection is in shrink. And then we'll maybe he'll he'll give oh, us an answer. I'm gonna say forty five percent of the collection is in shrink. That's a good guess. Yeah. That's a really good guys, guess. You might want to save that guess I'm, for the I'm, end of the video. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> oh, no. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna say to over fifty percent. I'm gonna say like fifty like 60 percent 60 okay okay that's fair onitama right. shout out to onitama top left yep. as well and oh, the expansions yeah. as well a whole bunch of them. great game man i thought it was just uh yeah. i didn't even know there were a bunch of expansions for it yep all right we've got oh, some boy, other if, games yeah if the, i was gonna say the background space hulk wow samurai swords wow oh boy all right let's let's move on to the next one because again there's still a lot to oh, see here. oh my <laughs> god <laughs> guys, just notice before I go any further, this is a pool table that has been used. <laughs> hey, sorry, no, no, it was a pool table. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, so, just... uh, is the is this like is this considered part of the collection, or is this just like a table waiting to become part of the collection? <laughs> you tell me, man. I don't know. I don't know <laughs> if you, you can. On Discord, ask them yourself. <laughs> this is insane. There's so many games here. We can't even see what's up. Like, what's going on in the back half of this table. Yeah, he actually st included in the note the fact that a bunch of the games on the pool table you will not be able to see because they're just surrounded by other yeah. games. Like you can see wow. kind of some villainous forbidden, but like what's behind this row and I think, behind this row. Yeah, I think the, the main table. question here we have to answer is like at what point do board games become part of your collection? Is it when they're on a board game shelf? Or can I just like can I just take a can I show up with a board game and throw it on my counter and it's like that's not part of my collection? Like I don't think so. I think I'm in the camp where you have to have it has to be able to add to your official board game shelves. The the other question is also at what point do board games start collecting you? Right. Yeah, because because he's pretty close. <laughs> oh man, the board games. There's uh, enough here well. to to take over. Yeah, they're taking over. <laughs> That's they've, a fair point. They've That's they've completely point. taken over the pool table. Like the pool doesn't exist anymore. Now it, this is this is a board game table. <laughs> this is another side of the pool oh. table. Obviously, more yep. games. The back side here, of course. Exactly. Yeah, we were looking from the other angle over here, sort of before. Oh, and this definitely is the same room because in that first shot we could see this oh, door yeah. and these games. So it's yep. definitely all the same room. I wonder where do the where are the games actually played? Is there a table where they actually play? They, they, well, they aren't. That's why they're in shrink. This isn't about playing games. This is just about <laughs> storing them. I, I think the goal, I think the goal is to eventually make a board game table out of board games. Ooh, you might be right. I like it. Yeah, yeah. Just harvesting materials in the meantime, or just open that's up right. a board game store and sell them. That's why they're in shrink. Maybe. True. Good point. Yep. All yeah, right. I mean, yeah. we got. Isles of, uh, Isle of Cats here. Se is Seven, Seven Wonders is not in Shrink. I think no, actually no. pointing out the games that are not in Shrink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're right. Is more efficient. Yeah. Good point. Wow. Yeah. At, at this, this point. Something wars. No yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Sleep, is that Sleeping oh, well. Gods? On, it is. But, yeah. yeah. Of course. That one's shrink. not going to play. A yeah. campaign, that's not going to play. <laughs> yeah. I, I think... What, if realistically, what year do we think it'll be before every single shrink game has been played? Depends if they stop buying now or if they continue. <laughs> just uh, just based on what we can see. Twenty two ten. Yeah, twenty two ten. Okay, good guess. Yeah, was, I yeah. remember there are still many photos to get. <laughs> yeah. Okay, oh, next one. No. <laughs> oh, this, this is, is oh, guess the top, top of the show. Wait, Dylan, this might actually be the favorite one. Bar Bar Sive. Three. Yeah, it's almost touching the ceiling. <laughs> You're right. At least on this shelf, that's the top shelf villain. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. exactly. Yeah. Old pack, like, what are these games? I, I wow. no clue. Fury of Dracula again. Is that three for three so far? It might be. Three at least five? two. I was going to yeah, say at, at least, least two. two for three. I don't at know. If, I don't know if all three of them had, but you might be right actually. And are all those D those all look like D and D or some other sort of RPG campaign they're, books? They're... Yes. You know what? There's, oh, yeah, there's yeah. a couple of close-up photos later of some uh, prized possessions and things that we'll we'll uh, zoom in on a little more. So, yeah, sweet. Um, but I, gotta, I do want to point out the Penny Arcade game. <laughs> Interesting. Didn't even know they had a game. Well, well, yeah, I don't even know what that is. Yeah. yeah. Not a clue. Top right. What is what is Spawncom? 
Spawn.com. I'm just kidding. I have no idea if that's Spawn.com. <laughs> it's the, the website Spawn.com. It's their official board game. <laughs> All right, we're going to move on to the next one because there's still quite a fit, quite a few uh, to go here, guys. Oh, my God. Oh, I guess this was also, we saw this from a different angle before, right? Where we had Space Hulk in this up here. Oh, but you know what? I'm going to give... It was so, in the background. Ah, yes. So far, oh. this is my favorite photo because, yeah, he's Froden's in it. It's great. Yeah. Right, full what? respect. Is that... That's just the expansion that... in Shrink. That's okay. My God. Uh, no, I think you no, can see... No, no, no. The base game is in Shrink. No, you don't have... Yep. No. Yeah, you can see... Yeah. I, I think that's just a reflection. That's not... Never played it. Never will. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, not only... Lots of not only is, like, every shelf filled to the brim, we have games in front of games, like, on the small box games there, just because yeah. they need to fit somewhere. Like, this is wild. So many games. Where's Agricola? Nowhere. Uh, moving along to the next. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry. This is a little bit closer. We're looking yeah. down a bit. So Clover, shout out. In Shrink, but yeah, still in Shrink. Great. Yeah. What's yeah, not in Shrink? Your Kingdom Builder? Here. Yeah, what is an in yeah. Shrink? Kingdom Builder? Yeah, right. Building. Spotted. Wild. Uh, I'm so off oh, on my. Marvel Champions, in, Marvel Champions in Shrink. Rip. I'm so off on my percentage. Of forty-five percent for shrink wrap games. Oh yeah, it's way I'm, higher. I'm, <laughs> uh, Black box. Black box twenty sixteen. What is this, guys? I don't know. Do they have it for twenty seventeen and above? <laughs> is that the I one don't... year that they did it? It's a valid question. Black box twenty sixteen. Wow, this is wild. It's an yeah. It's from AEG apparently. Interesting. But guys, they do have. High density formatted. <laughs> yeah, that's, my, oh, that's my favorite game. That's my yeah, favorite thing I on the shelf. Yeah, yeah, the high density edition. Really I thought that said 144 it. megabytes, which I was already going to make fun of, but I think it says 1.44 megabytes. Sure <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Love it. Yes. That's great. In shrink still, too. <laughs> of course. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we're going to move on here. Uh, oh. And this is just another wow, shelf. Stormbreaker. Stormbreaker in. That's to go with the affinity gauntlet love it yeah but just and this obviously wouldn't be a complete zombicide. giant collection without 500 zombicide boxes yeah got some robust shelves i gotta say that yeah oh is this the version yeah this is just sonar that's, this is not that's, that's like the family yeah version i believe right yeah this is uh, the one they have about a hundred copies of at uh bianca amore's liquidation super yeah. center here in yeah. <laughs> got a bunch of those on blow at sale for like five dollars each yeah sushi go hanging out what is what is going yeah. on on that shelf above quadropolis there's a there's a bunch of stuff going on in that entire shelf and i don't oh yeah let's zoom in here is. some paint brushes oh my uh, god there's so much to unpack here. Yeah, paintbrushes, X Men, some board Honestly. games, some sort of just a bunch of metal stuff in front that I can't tell what it is. Sonic the Hedgehog, Magic the Gathering. This is wild. 007 yeah. oh, something. We'll mention, he pointed out in an email that the thing above Cantaloupe uh, version one, mm. this green box here, is just a box of Earl Grey tea, which is apparently an oh. inside joke between him and his wife. <laughs> okay, I didn't explain it. But, I, uh, he didn't. He, all great. In shrink, in shrink, in shrink. <laughs> <laughs> That's the inside joke. <laughs> that has yeah, to yeah. be. <laughs> it must be. It must be. Yeah, I mean, Dune Imperium in shrink. What's is Viticulture in shrink? It doesn't look like it. Mm, no, I don't believe so. It's the essential edition. Uh, hard to say. Man, Viticulture. Wow. And in Doge, just Halo assume 5. that it is. Yeah, default to shrink. Yeah, yeah. I don't even know what else is it. A couple of old pizza boxes that have been kept yeah. around for whatever reason. No, those with, are probably, yeah, pizza boxes. With pizza <laughs> in them. <laughs> yeah, yeah P is for pizza, guys. Come on. <laughs> All right. And let's, uh, so here's another oh one. God. Oh, more games, more, yeah. That's Ark Nova. Right, Ark Nova and play. Yeah, you got. It looks like it's just out. like a, Who knows it's a game. It's just a bunch of games piled behind the couch with a TV. Three sisters mm. is that? Is well, that you never know. You might be sitting down watching TV and need to reach behind you and grab True. a game. Yeah, That's a yeah, good yeah. yeah. Yeah, just reach back, grab a game, put it on the table, and take off the shrink wrap. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. More this boss. is yeah. this at this point. Like when we get to this point, I don't 
there is no organization strategy. This is just no. stacking. At least in this there one, some like the shelf ones, sure. But okay, like, what what do you think is the oldest game they own that is still in shrink? Oof. Ooh, I think we, he mentioned, and I think that is going to come up a little later. Uh, I don't know. There's the later. I think he said he, well, I think he, yeah. Are we um, halfway yet? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're we're getting near the end. There's just okay. I think there's one or two more of the collection. Yeah, I'm just going to power right through. Whoops. Uh, yeah, here we go. So just more. I think we saw these from a different angle before, Sleeping Gods and whatnot. Yes. So we're not going to spend any time on this yeah. really. Yeah, um, space base. We saw these yeah. as well from a different we're angle. The we're books, digging in. Games. Um. Here's so just a close up of some more of these books. So here are some of the old RPGs that he mentioned mm. are from like the 1970s. Some of them that haven't wow. been played that have been in shrink wrap since being purchased wow. uh, in the 70s. So like these That's are crazy. these are That's some awesome. of the uh, prized possessions that he mentioned. Just old old RPGs. So I imagine from- I imagine the shrink wrap must be from a collector standpoint. Like it must be like less about wanting to play some of these games and more just wanting to keep them yeah. in shrink to keep their value and stuff. Which I can respect. I've done that with some things too. Yeah, this is certainly something we don't see uh, very often at all. So yeah, pretty cool to get a peek into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's another close up of the Thor's hammer. Just some more games. Again, Point there's... salad, not in shrink. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Point salad's getting played. <laughs> yeah, baby. Stone sweet land. Yeah, I don't need, Yeah, I don't even know what to say. Yeah, this is uh, this has been a wild ride you have taken us on. It has been. It really has been. So now we are into, so this is the prize possession again, just a close up of these, yeah. so as long as I was referring to before. And then we've got recent Frost purchases. <laughs> this one is actually called recent purchases. So, like, for some reason, these ones, yeah, Frost, wow. these are separate from the other non recent purchases that are in shrink, I suppose. With Frost <laughs> he he so badly doesn't want it to lose value that he's keeping it in the cardboard box, too. The not, cardboard not, box. not Oh, it's, you know why? Because there is no shrink on Frost Haven. When you open it up, it, or no, I think it's just stickers <laughs> on the side. So he's like, if there's no shrink, I need the cardboard to protect it. It makes sense. Checks out. Right. See, I, I thought it was I like one of, it make sure it's actually in there, though. <laughs> one of those meal kit things where they have the ice packs in it. So it's oh, to yeah. keep Frost Haven cold. <laughs> of course, you're right. Uh, yeah. Oh, guys, more Zombicide. Yo, just, <laughs> hey, shout out to just one. Oh yeah, uh, he, drink. yeah Braden's number one. Let's of all go. Time. Probably, yeah. probably ordered it because Braden joined the channel. He wanted to have uh, Braden's right. number one, my number one, but not Carlos. I was gonna <laughs> say when you have this many games, yeah, Brickla isn't here. That's that, <laughs> that's saying <laughs> that's saying something. I don't that's know actually really saying. funny. That that about sums it up. I think that about is the perfect <laughs> end to this collection. Is just it is because that is also the last photo. Perfect. Uh, Rice oh. Moody, thank you so much for sending in uh, your collection. Uh, and yeah, guys, you're gonna have to rate this one. Uh, so on a scale from. Let's say on an anxiety-inducing scale, uh, we're going to use percentages here from 10% mm. anxiety to 100%. And notice the lowest it goes is 10% because you got to have at least some anxiety. Maybe put yourself, if, if this was your collection, where from 10 to 100% anxiety would this make you feel? I feel like my, so I will give, I have to give two, and that's because my anxiety level would be like 90% with this collection if this is, was mine and I owned it. But anytime Carlo came over, my anxiety would reduce by like 20% because of the fact that I don't own Agricola and I get to say I own all these games but no Agricola so then my anxiety would just be replaced by a bit of elation uh, so that's I, 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 I gotta to say I'm I'm probably in the upper 90s um, I'm I'm having trouble staying calm right now <laughs> yeah uh, I hear you guys yeah, uh, especially, you know, we talked about recently, I had this Curating My Collection uh, series going recently, talking about getting rid of games, and uh, this is this is hard for me to see. Yeah. But it also is very, very entertaining. And, of course, uh, Rice, just uh, yes. all in good fun, like amazing, yeah. amazing assortment of games. It's been a lot of fun to look at. And, uh, yeah, thank you so much for the Patreon support, being part of our Discord community, and for sending us these incredible photos. Yeah, was, so, that was a lot of fun. I, re- I really yeah. enjoyed it. I hope work. your collection is insured because... My God, <laughs> yeah. there's got to be a like, yes. I don't even want to know how much value is sitting there. That is wild. Love it. Yeah. We will hold hold on to those photos uh, for insurance purposes for you, right? Yes. In case <laughs> <don't>. Because <laughs> I, will, I would not accept uh, someone having uh, yeah, lost those and not being able to replace them. So we are going to jump ahead to collection number four, another patron, of course. This is Ethan, uh, who goes by, in our, I believe in our Discord, he goes by Cardboard Crash Course. So he uh, has his own YouTube channel. So check that mm. out. That is Cardboard Crash Course, where he specializes in uh, Twilight Imperium uh, faction guides. 
as mm -hmm. well as a lot of uh, Magic the Gathering videos. So uh, he kind of deep dives into a few specific games. Um, and I'll tell you right now, it's a little bit refreshing coming from the Ooh. collection we just saw. This is the collection, guys. Oh, this is it. love it. This is so inviting. And I like that there's top shelf billing. I haven't played Scythe, but Isle of Cats is great. And Catan is a classic. So some great choices for top shelf billing. Yeah, we get party games on the. I'm, I'm not going to go all the way to the bottom actually right now, but I mean, Codenames co and Codenames Duet. Yep. Fabulous. I have I have both in my collection. Um, yeah, we, as we go down here too, Marvel Champions, he's got the. What is it? Specialized the, box there for him. Oh, you guys yeah. are in for a treat. There's a couple of bonus photos. The BCW uh, box, yeah, probably nice. a, a 6400 card one. Also have that as well. Very nice. I read. I guess um, yes, the organization. I was gonna. I was just gonna comment on the organization. Like villainous, fantastic. Mm. All right, we, we got villainous on the left hand side. We got our Twilight Imperium stuff as well as Twilight Inscription, um, and then then Santorini beside Twilight Imperium. I guess. Yeah. I mean, um, it helps it stand out. It definitely yeah. like pops. It's like contrast. It's contrast. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> um, varying lengths. I think. I think I mean we're we've got good groupings of games, right? We got Arkham Horror, but I, I don't know if there is. Oh, hold on, let's check for alpha alphabetized A, Azul, and then T for Trails. Okay, so no, yeah, and, come on, Brady, yeah. almost, like, almost right? Like <laughs> yeah, al almost alphabetical when we start with V villainous over there. <laughs> <laughs> I guess technically it would have been D Disney, but. Whatever. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's kind of. I feel it's like kind of all over. I, Although party games at the bottom. Yeah, though. I feel like the like I the organization starts amazing at the top, and then it declines a little bit as we go down. Mostly probably out of necessity to fit things on the shelf. Like yeah. some had to be horizontal and stuff like that. N in nowhere is it bad, which is which is good. Um, but I definitely think my favorite like the first two shelves, I like it's on like the top and and then the first two shelves. Although Marvel Champions is clearly causing a, a problem because everything is having to kind of balance around that box of Marvel Champions. As much as I appreciate it, I'll be in there. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, easy on what you say because, again, there, remember what I said. There are some Marvel Champions photos coming okay, up. Okay, great. I'm so excited. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. Uh, and um, I do have to point out that he doesn't have a lot of Kinesia games, but he does have modern art. Yeah, which, which we didn't. Probably our, like, maybe our, our favorite could be a game top between game. the three of us yep. in terms of we had to have our, our, our highest common yeah. game between us and I, I counted before uh, we went into this there are four games in here from my top 10 of all time wow and for one of the wow. smaller collections that we've looked at uh, I gotta commend Ethan for that right away that's more than the last collection <laughs> <laughs> I think you're probably right yeah <laughs> yeah yeah. Uh, uh, anything, yeah. and he specifically asked um, for recommendations. He says, "Is there anything here that I am oh. missing? Anything that I should be adding to my collection?" Kind of thing. Uh, Ethnos. Hmm. Ethnos is a great. Oh, you don't even have to out. think. Just call. I it think right it was out. just. It's Honestly, good. I think it was just because it's it's a game that we played recently, and yeah. I was like, "Oh man, this game is really good." Yeah, it is. So good. It is really, really good, especially with varying player counts, and yeah. we've already got things like Wingspan in there. Um, you know, it's, it, I would say it's like, <laughs> it's the next step beyond wingspan. <laughs> <laughs> it's the clear, it's the clear progression <laughs> from wingspan to ethnos. That's the way it goes. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> but we did, you're right. We did play ethnos recently after a frost haven session. And yeah, uh, it, like no joke reminded me how much I liked it to the point that I think it'll just from that one play would go up in my top 50 again after having gone down last time. Cause it's just so good. Yeah. It was great. Yeah. yeah really, really yeah. good. Yeah bring in the ornithologist with the wingspan theme and then hit him with the generic fantasy. Yeah, love it. <laughs> I mean, what else do we have for Reiner Knizia other than modern art here? Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think that there is anything else. I don't think there is, actually. Not in but this he, photo, but... So here's the thing. Here's the thing. He's meeting his Knizia quota with modern art. True. And then he's also got patchwork. So he's got a, he's got a Knizia, he's got mm. a Rosenberg. You know, he doesn't I have like the best that. Rosenberg game. Right, Braden? <laughs> I would say so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but he is he is meeting the quota, so uh, he's ticking a lot of boxes for us here at AYCB. Yeah, um, yep, that's true. He's got great planes in there for you, too. Macro, sneak, lots of variety for a relatively, again, yes. I don't want to say a small collection. There's still quite a few games yeah. here. 
But again, for what we tend to see in terms of games that are submitted here, uh, you got to respect the variety, especially from someone who is making, you know, strategy guides for Twilight Imperium and clearly into Magic the Gathering and Marvel Champions. These deep dive games, it's really nice to see some small box, uh, more like filler type games and lots of nice variety. Eh? Yep. Love it. So show us the uh, the Marvel Champions thing. I'm really excited. Let's take a look. So this is the Marvel Champions. Oh, here we go. Oh, very nice. And storage. Yes. Yeah, love it. This is way better than the way I've got it organized. <laughs> I'm I'm actually currently working my way to achieving this right now. Nice. I'm actively in the process of organizing in like this very same box. Too. Yeah. This reminds me, Carlo, of how I used to store magic cards, except without the dividing things that i remember i had that yeah, big I remember you labels. no i didn't have labels it was just like it was a case like this but it was uh, built by my stepdad and uh had the like the sliding mm -hmm. wood top and it was just full oh, yes. of magic the gathering cards right yeah yeah, yeah. yeah although great. i will I say I'm, i was i thought that they were doing are they doing alphabetical oh they're doing alphabetical from front to back oh okay i see it yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. back to front nice yeah i was gonna is... really call out your alphabet uh <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, this is great. I'm glad that yeah, they included cool. this. Standard oh, yeah, modular and this sets. Is from the other side as well. So So it it so looks like appreciate that. it looks like they must keep the decks, the pre con decks, yes? Yeah. Yeah, I don't go back to the other the one previous, Carlo? Uh, oh yeah, because that's like a, that's they're, a, they're not yeah. separated. Yeah, because there would only like, be a handful, right? Yeah, it looks like that is all the pre-constructed decks. They haven't like separated yeah. the aspects and so, stuff. I mean, get another box, separate them yeah. into their that's... aspects. I mean, unless you're not a deck builder, then you're probably just pulling pre-cons and stuff like that. But that too, would so. be that would be the next level, the next step if you wanted to yeah. evolve this for sure. Love it. Yeah. Nice. So that's that's great. Got. That's Sweet. all we've got. So That's quickly awesome. here, uh, give me a rating between uh, get good at Marvel Champions noob to <laughs> this guy Marvel Champions. Oof. Ooh. This guy Marvel Champions. I mean, well, um, and not all the way because, yeah, right, if he's not deck yeah. building, that's not fully Marvel Championing. So, no. Uh, on a scale of, what is the scale, like 1 to 10, you're saying of that? I there would are no say... Numbers. Oh, okay. I'll say almost, <laughs> almost... If you're going in between the scale, okay, you got to create your own. Th this guy, here. this guy... Quite nearly Marvel Champions. <laughs> <laughs> I I would say like a I would put like Miss Marvel is what I would say. Miss Marvel on the scale. Of not, not not quite like Captain Marvel. Right. Like if that's fully okay. fledged, but like one step below. One step below. Got okay. It. Well, make of that what you will, Ethan. But uh, thank you so much for sending your collection and uh, and for the Patreon support. And once again, uh, folks, check out uh, Cardboard Crash Course on YouTube if you want to see especially yeah, Twilight Imperium uh, or Magic-specific uh, content. Sweet. All right, now we are going to go into our final collection here. This one is sent in from Kyle Skamen. This is a... Uh, he is local to us here in Manitoba. Actually, you two have met him in person. I, I have. Not yet. Yes, sir. Um, and this is probably going to be tough for you guys to roast because you met him face-to-face -face and uh, by all oh. accounts, it sounds like a very, very nice gentleman. And uh, But yeah, guys, roast roast away here. It uh, just makes it that much easier. Um... <laughs> also, real quick, actually, I want to give a shout-out because he is a producer-level patron. So thank you very much. Yep. Um, and he said specifically to roast... However, we choose. He said, specific, "Quote for I uh, quote him here. Not worried about criticisms. Oh heck right. yeah! Okay. Don't hold back, guys. And I also want to throw in one more thing: is that he is a pharmacist. He owns uh, and runs his own pharmacy, but he has a specific section of the pharmacy with a shelf where he sells board games. So when you come in, you can you know get your your medication and your proper medication. Yeah, love it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> no um, better uh, medicine." than uh, board games. You know exactly. what they say, a board game a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> keeps the doctor Canizio away. Yeah. Wait, <laughs> at bay? I don't know. Actually, <laughs> fitting for you that you said that because he has no Canizio games, so it truly does keep Canizio away oh, in a bad way. No. You can't, you can't, a spoiler, but you can't be a, lying. You can't be a pharmacist who sells board games in the pharmacy and also not have Canizio. I mean, maybe he sells Canizio oh, games. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, I mean, no, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Brayden serious. is so upset. 
I am. <laughs> I'm also going to tell you right now that he doesn't have any Uwe Rosenberg games. Oh. oh I mean, I will say that I do appreciate that he's a pharmacist and that Pandemic is his single top shelf billing at the very top with like the health Agreed. logo and yes. stuff like that. That yeah. is very appropriate. It's a great, box. great use of top shelf billing. Yeah. Love it. And he mentioned that it's just sitting up there for now because he wanted it displayed, but it will be wall mounted. He Ooh. made that clear. He has recently nice. actually built an actual board game room in his basement. Uh, so yeah, what are you? I'll get some close-ups. What do you guys? Yeah, think? let's so get let's get into here. Of games let's, here. I mean, you have okay. Hold Kyle. Kyle. <laughs> Shout out Doctor Krieg in the Discord, by the <laughs> you, way. You have exploding kittens, but no. Kinitzia. <laughs> You're Kyle. Right. Yeah. Kyle, it's hard to come back from and that, and yeah, who knows? Phase ten, cards against what, humanity, but no. Kinesia. What is <sighs> what is with the black bars around some games? I think like, they're like the bands to keep them yeah. oh. the the Got tops on. Dylan, this is together. what would solve your Jaipur slash Splendor problem. If I have to, no, nothing. Had, if I have to, have an eyesore, though, if right? I have to buy an accessory just to solve. A uh, problem with the initial <laughs> box, then the problem's not mine; it's the company's. <laughs> <laughs> well said. Well said. Oh, I just I can't. I I gotta recover, guys. I'm yeah. I'm, I'm reeling. Brain's reeling. Okay, yeah, yeah. so two yeah. things I'll point out. Right beside brew, there's a gap for nothing. Um, it looks like there's a gap for like a little figure on the bottom or something. I don't know what's Yoda, happening. Yoda here. head is that? Yeah, 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 but then like but yet there's a game called Abyss or something like. In the background, that's not filling that gap yeah. for some. Reason. I like that it's hiding though. It's yeah, it's kind of like yeah, a it's kind of sea monster. It is kind of nice. Yeah, um, it must be an expansion to this abyss box here. Yeah, and then also whatever is to the right to the right of that shelf, whatever is next to Dominion, taking up so it's, much oh, space. Guys, this is my least favorite name of any board game. It's Quarriers Quultimate Quedition. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, and then of course we have next to it qu quibitos as yeah. well <laughs> <laughs> just absolutely abusing the alliteration here. yeah oh goodness uh, oh boy. a bunch of epic okay, let's games just, I, is this a whole tiny epic series have you guys tiny played epic? Yep. it's not all of them it's most of them yeah are those also button shies on top of the mine i think so yes plenty of button shies lots of wall yep. games i'm also That's very nice. very jealous of mine bug one of the ones I wish I yes. bought. Yeah. Me too. I thought it'd be easy to find in retail. Remember we talked about it? Yeah. And we're like, no, we'll wait till retail and nowhere to be found. Oh, um, he's, also, Kyle's local. he's also got uh, Jenga up there with, I, I can see it's the number seven, oh. number 17 Jenga blocks specifically yeah. put on the, the top. Oh, yeah. Yep. That's key. That's, yeah. to, that's top shelf on the Jenga billing for the best Jenga block. That's great. <laughs> that's important. <laughs> game respect game. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is, I mean... Another recently fulfilled Kickstarter, Kapow. Kapow. Yeah. Mall Kapow. Peak, which is, I, I really want to try this one. It's the sort of follow-up to Skull Hollow, sort of Shadow of, of the Colossus-style uh, two-player game. Yep. Yeah, there's some great games here. I mean, like, Libertalia uh, is great, yep. and I mean, Llama Land, Gazool. Um, Another Five Tribes. This is, like, yeah. this is like the third Five Tribes. This is like, yeah. It's a popular one for these collections. It's a good one. Yeah. Sure one I still have like, to play. Everdell, Terraforming Mars. Oh! One of Carlos' favorite games, Terraform Mars Air's Expedition. Huge. <laughs> no magic made. I do not watch our comparison video. Oh, and he has so he has Terraform Mars Air's Expedition and Terraform Mars, but no race for the galaxy. He definitely yeah. didn't watch our comparison video. <laughs> or he just listened to your parts and not mine. Either what way. is What is the game beside Terraforming Mars, to the left of it? I don't know. Base Gate Odyssey. Base Gate Odyssey. I haven't heard of that one. What is seen it. Stores, but I don't know my, uh, anything about it really. Is there a little wooden figure on every single shelf? There is, yeah. I'm just noticing. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> oh, so maybe that wasn't a Yoda head. These look yeah, like little dinosaurs. Is, or something. I want. I want the story right. behind these. I need to. I like need a some. Thing or something. I need. You know what? I don't need the actual story behind them, Kyle. I need you to come up with a really, really detailed, interesting <laughs> backstory <laughs> on why they exist, and then I need you to respond in the YouTube comments, telling me the history of how these ended up on the shelves. That's what I want. Nice. Please and thank you. I'm you guys have any idea what this is here? Ion? Mm. And it's Ion, I think, is the company Ion designed, but yeah, I oh, have well. no clue. No not a not a hot clue at all. Yeah, some great games. This is a great case about Outlive. 
We've seen this is one that Mike Delisio from the Dice Tower has been championing for like years and years and years. Oh, no one really? else seems to ever talk about this game. I've, it's like in his top ten like for years running. I've never heard anyone talk about anyone else talk about it. That's his enchant okay. that's his enchanted blooms. <laughs> I, I will yeah, say exactly. there's one thing that I've noticed that has bothered me now. Okay. Uh -oh. Okay. There uh Pandemic uh Cthulhu is on one shelf, Pandemic Legacy is below it, and then You're you right. have Pandemic <laughs> on the far right in the in the second uh oh, okay. last shelf as well. And on top and of the entire shelf and the and top. Wow. Ned kid at the top. Yeah. At this point, you you have to have pandemic representation on every single shelf for this. To I, make that's sense. what I was looking for, yeah. actually. <laughs> that needs to be the goal. Yeah. yeah. Have a single version of Pandemic on every single that's shelf. That's right. Yeah. That's a real pharmacist power move right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, that was great. Yeah, I mean, Kenizia, yeah. just something. Yeah, I know. Lost Kenizia, City Rosenberg. To be fair, he has he has willingly volunteered this information previously in our Discord, so he. Uh, yeah, again, that's fair. No, no he, he understands his gaps. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's what we're talking about. So we'll have to actually uh, meet up and game with him and uh, teach him some good Kenizia and Rosenberg. Yeah, games. yeah. I mean, we got to play Concordia, honestly. Yeah, and Ooh. then here's another photo just beside the shelf. So here's some of his. Favorites prominently oh, displayed. Yeah, yeah so this is on Mars, prime. which he has offered to teach me uh, when we eventually meet up to play games. I look forward to learning that one. Yeah. Nice. The, I like the. Dylan, yeah, I was gonna say I like title blades. I like. I'm jealous of dwellings of Eldervale. I like that he has the big collector's versions of both Star Realms and Hero Realms. It's great. Yep. Yeah. And the deluxe of Dune Imperium. Yeah, gotta love that. Very nice components. Big in there. fan. It's, this is actually. I, I can understand why every single one of those is on there. Even the ones that, like I haven't played or like don't have the same affinity for like having those versions of them all it all makes sense yeah, yeah. absolutely it's he's great. got some nice uh nice lord of the Rings stuff up here yeah. too right that's sick that's cool love yeah. it wait michigan rummy yeah i know i saw that too i was like was that up there before <laughs> top shelf billing to michigan rummy that's a bold decision oh my gosh wow, wow. yeah and you don't have a Kenichi again. No. <laughs> it'll always it'll always come back to that it's great i love it <laughs> yeah that's it Sweet. Those are just some more close-ups of the same close collection. So too. that's uh, that's it for Kyle. So here for the rating, uh, we're gonna say on a scale of no Uve and no Kanitia equals no deal, to I forgive you for your terrible sins. What would you guys rate this? I well, yeah, you I think go, um, I can I can be a forgiving guy, and um, for this one, I would uh, I'm I'm not gonna be a forgiving guy. It's no Kanitia, no deal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the low end of the scale. Dylan, what about you? Uh, I'm going to say that mine will start just barely above Brayden's, but depending on how good your backstory is for those wooden figures in the YouTube comments, I'm willing to go upwards of maybe to 50% <laughs> halfway between both. <laughs> okay, I just want to ask a follow-up question. You guys are taking into consideration Quarrier's Quultimate Quidition in your ratings? Oh, shoot. Yeah, I forgot about that one, actually. Um, I am taking it into consideration. <laughs> <laughs> Just had to make it. Yeah, to make it. Um, yeah. My rating remains unchanged. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Sorry, my my right. my quading remains unquenched. <laughs> Un <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, all right. Thank you so much, Kyle. Another uh, excellent uh, collection here, and uh, yeah, we look forward to meeting up and playing games with you at some point. Um, so that is it. That is our five collections. I know this was a, a long episode, a very this is well over an hour now, a uh, long return to, to form, obviously. Uh, that third collection was, was quite the sight. Uh, lots of games here. So, uh, I mean, I don't even know, know uh, if we'll ever see a collection like that ever again. But uh, yeah, so to anyone, as I said at the beginning of the video, if you want to submit your collections, um, you can send us an email, allyoucanboard at gmail.com. Try to remember to put a link in the description below. Uh, to those of you who have sent collections, we have some still in our inbox from February of 2022, so about 15 months ago. I think we have a backlog of probably 70 or 80 collections in there. So if you've sent in a collection, when it's your turn, we will be sending you an email a little bit in advance asking you to send in some updated photos. So we'll make sure we give you the chance to do that. Um, and if you're looking to cut the line and uh, have your collection sort of skipped and, and you want yours uh, rated sooner, obviously the only way to do that is by supporting us on Patreon. Patreon. Um, there's no pressure to do that, but just for full disclosure, uh, if you are submitting your collection, it'll probably be a, a bit of a wait uh, otherwise. But um, yeah, is there anything else you guys want to add in here before we uh, wrap things up? Nope. I think that was great. Thanks again to everyone who sent them in. Yeah, it was awesome. Uh, great to see everyone's collections and see how different games are stored different ways. Uh, it's, a, it's a great insight into people's lives. So, yeah, thanks yeah. for sharing. Right on. 
All right, well, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Let us know uh, what you uh, thought of this new format. Uh, we'll definitely be doing another one of these soon, and uh, we hope to make these collection roasts uh, a regular part of the channel once again. So yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.